Hi, I'm Brent Porcio. And I'm Michael Sakiff. And uh, this is the first volume of our more advanced pitching instructions. We're going to cover a topic that is my most exciting, or I think the most exciting, my favorite topic, uh, which I like to call power of pitching. And um, uh, I think, to me, when I think of power of pitching, I know Mike has a little bit of a different twist to it, is I like to think uh, momentum, <clears throat> the importance of momentum. Uh, and, and to developing power for the pitcher. But that, it, it kind of scares Mike because he works with a lot of younger kids. And me, I, I played a little professional baseball and you know I work with some older guys. So I can go right at him uh, about the minimum and power pitching. But it scares Mike a little bit with the younger kids. And he'll well, play the, 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 the biggest problem, and it, it, again, it comes down to is, again, just like in many athletics, it's, it's counterintuitive. You know, you get a baseball in your hand, they want to go really hard, and the first thing they say, get that arm speed up, and all of a sudden they're using an arm. So, I agree momentum is very, very important, but some of the kids that I work with, you know, you get them a high leg lift, and all of a sudden they're, they're out of balance. So, you get the high leg lift, you create all that momentum forward, but then what happens is it doesn't stop. It just kind of keeps going and going, and again, a lot, we don't throw strikes, it counts high, and we're in trouble. So, again, it's the, it's the balance between knowing your athlete, Knowing your pitcher, what can you give them? And the, the, the most important is we kind of stay conservative at the youth level because we don't we don't think their legs are that strong uh, enough to handle. But we do want to teach it. Okay, so wh where does uh, the momentum start? If you saw our beginners video, we saw showed you the five components of pitching, and the first component we talked about was the lift leg momentum. So we use the word initially in the first component, and why? Uh, What's the importance of momentum being generated from the lift leg? Well, again, I'm looking at the camera. Again, the more I lift my leg, the more my weight's going back. So if I'm in this position, I lift my leg, I'm, I'm going to start with my, my weight back. Again, going back to these pictures, which is kind of my, seems my specialty now, is they lift their leg and then all the momentum goes forward. So they really don't create very much momentum. And that's why you hear a lot of pictures, they go from here and they leave the butt, or whatever. But really what's going on is the weight back. Okay, so the importance in the, in the, the lift leg is uh, to uh, initially balance the, the weight to the back side. To the back side. And, and the reason I might want to take a lot higher leg lift is because then I'm adding more weight to the back side, which in return is going to bring more weight forward. But always stressing that we have to keep it under control. So not all kids can handle a high leg lift. So you fathers out there or uh, coaches, you, you might want to get your pitchers to uh, lift their legs higher because they're, you want to get a little more pop in their ball or get them throwing a little bit harder. Again, but that's, that's the first component. It's not the end-all, be-all, but it's very important. Again, I'm going to look back into the camera, and again, what I see a lot is I'll see a big leg lift, and then as they're coming forward, I will see that the momentum doesn't seem to go straight to home plate. So they lift the leg, they start drifting, and all of a sudden they're going into the dugout, and then their arm starts dropping. So now it's very important to have leg strength on top of the momentum. So go right. ahead. So in, in momentum, we can 